Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss Cinnamon Spice. And today I'll be showing you this wig from Hair So Fly. This is their Valentino wig in the color um, brown and gold, or gold brown, that's what color it is. And it's a five inch lace part synthetic wig. I wanna show you guys how this curl and how this color looks. Like I just absolutely love that. So now I'm gonna show you, we have a comb in the back here. We have our drawstrings of course, and we have a comb on one side. And let me get around, okay. There we go, hold up. All right, <laughs> so we have a comb on the other side. Now I wanna show you guys how the parting space looks. So this is five inches and this is a lace part wig. Not a lace wig, just the lace part wig. All right, so, so this is yeah, how the lace how part looks. looks in the front. And now I'm just gonna show you guys the baby hairs that do come with this wig, which is a plus because you know, some wigs don't come with it, especially synthetic wigs. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. I'm gonna be using my Eagle Style Gel, some baby powder, and some concealer to tweak this wig along with some lace tape, just to make this wig look better. I'm gonna go ahead and slap her on my head. Now this is how the wig looks before we tweak her and make some adjustments to it. And I'm gonna begin with putting my lace tape on. Now there's no special way to put this lace tape on. I mean, I put it because it is very thick. You can either cut it in smaller strips or I just go ahead and just place it on my head along um, my hairline and I go ahead and apply it on the stocking cap too just for the heck of it because I don't feel like cutting it. It is double-sided tape. It is only $5.99 and you get a lot of strips in there. And you just go ahead and put your wig on, sis, and she's good. She's not going anywhere. She's staying with you, okay? I like these niggas, but sis is staying with you. She got your back. <laughs> so anyways, I went ahead and just slapped that on. Now it feels very, very, very secure and very tight on your head. So you are all good. Okay, so moving on, I'm just gonna pin my hair to the side here and I'm gonna work on my baby hair. So I am pulling some of my natural hair out just to kind of give this baby hair kind of look that I wanna go for. You really don't have to do this unless you want to. This is just something I decided to do. So I did put some Eagle Style on one of my old um, eyebrow brushes that I, yeah, I don't use it anymore. But I put some Eagle Style on there because um, I'm gonna be doing my baby hairs as you guys can see. And I'm not doing anything major with my baby hairs. Just a couple swoops and calling it a day now. Some of you might not like the way I did my baby hairs for this wig. Some of you might be like, it's okay. It's really up to you how you wanna do your baby hairs. I mean, there's no right or wrong way to do your baby hairs. So just, you know, do you and call it a day. If you think it's cute, then it really don't matter. Um, but since this is all I have to work with, I'm just doing something like not too major. So next I'm gonna be taking my concealer and I'm just gonna be applying it um, down the part. I was thinking about opening up this part a little bit more, but then I'm like, nah, it's good. I don't really need to do that. I'm just gonna put my concealer on it and call it a day. All right, this next step you guys have seen me do before in a couple of my videos. I put baby powder on a lot of my synthetic units because it just takes away the shine and yeah, the harsh dial look that you know comes with it. And I'm just gonna brush this hair out Brushing this out is very soft, it did not tangle for me, and it took well with the baby powder just to get rid of some of that shine. So I decided to add a little bit, well that's probably a lot to y'all, but a little bit more baby powder to my hair. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just brush that until I do not see the baby powder anymore. If you add some baby powder to your hair and it's actually too much, just take a damp cloth and just wipe it away and you're all good. So this is the finished look with this wig. I really didn't have to do too much to this wig to kind of tweak it up. It's only a couple steps that I have to do that I just got done showing you guys. And I feel like it really makes a difference with the wig. 
If you want to put this wig like moving your hair to the back or something like that, you have the option of having like the baby hair look kind of right there for you to be able to do your thing. Um, I did pull out some of my natural hair. I feel like my eyelash is leaning. Okay, it's not. But I did pull out some of my natural hair um, hairline to give me a little extra baby hairs and like a sideburn right here. Um, just in case I did want to wear my hair behind my ear as you guys can see I did take the wig and I shifted it to give me like that side swoop and that side part instead of doing a middle part But you can definitely do a middle part with this wig um, I brushed it out because those curls was like They they was really tight and I did not want to go for that tight look So I went ahead and just kind of brushed it out as you guys can see to give me like a little bit more volume and a little bit more I don't know what she's given. She's given glamour. She's given pretty girl. I mean, she's just given better than what she was given before with those tight curls. But if you like that, if you like that, I am not knocking you. Go ahead by any means do useless. But for me, it's a no. So like I was saying, yes, this hair is very um like soft and it's just like super super bouncy and I feel like I can just do a lot with it it's definitely giving like glamorous like a hundred percent glamour girl like I really really love the vibe that this hair is giving especially when I brushed it out and kind of did like this really pretty feathery bouncy you know classy girl classy girl pretty girl look um I did as you guys can see took some concealer and put it along my um lace this is a lace um lining Wait, what is that called? It's not called lining, what is it called? Oh, I'm retarded, it's a lace part. <laughs> Duh. I did put some concealer on this lace part. I was gonna open it up a little bit more, but then I was like, mm, it looks good, it looks all right. I wasn't going to do my baby hairs, but because this wig is not a lace, it's actually low key, low key, low key. It's actually when I look at the, look at the card, it's basically a full cap wig. You see how she, don't wear y'all wigs like this. Do not wear y'all wigs like this. Do not, do not. Do not just slap her on your head. Don't do that, I got a video. I, I be putting it right up in here. You guys can watch this video right here and show you how to make your wig cap look a little bit more natural. But this one you didn't, that video doesn't really pertain to this one, but it does help you out a little bit. Um, but don't wear your wig like that ladies. Don't just put it on um, But anyway, so basically like I said, this is a full cap wig in a sense with a lace part basically It's basically what it is. Um, but I still was I'm giving like not full cap I feel like I'm giving not full cap because we don't want to we don't want to give full cap you guys we we want to kind of Tweak it up a little bit, you know make her it's not lashes feel like they're leaning <laughs> we want to tweak it up a little bit make her look like a, a, a lot better than what she does and that's what we did You don't have to do your baby hairs like this. You can do your baby hairs however you want This is just how I decided to do my baby hairs or you can go solo dolo without baby hairs It's totally up to you. I just think it looks a little bit more lacy ish Not wiggish when I add my baby hairs like I did um, another tip that I showed you guys is putting the um, lace tape lace tape on your wig this works really good for full cap wigs as well because when I didn't have this lace tape on this wig when I didn't have the lace tape on this wig it slid back it was going back to like back into time it was leaving me okay the combs are only like right here and right here but they don't do any justice for this this part right here so I went ahead like you guys can see and I put some tape on my forehead and stocking cap so that now sis ain't moving she ain't going nowhere she 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 stand down you know what I'm saying like it's just a wig hack that I'm pretty sure you guys know. But other than that, I didn't get any shedding with this wig. So far, I haven't got any tangling. You guys do know that this wig is a synthetic wig. The part is five inches and I can't remember, I never remember how much these wigs cost, but I'm definitely going to um, leave it somewhere like right here, how much this wig costs and where I got the wig from. It'll also be detailed in my description box of where you guys can get this wig if you like it and you wanna purchase it. It's definitely giving Glamour Girl, it's definitely giving pretty, so I really do like this wig and I love, love, love this ombre color. Like, 
this color like let's get into that do y'all see that color i'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so y'all can actually see how the part looks up close so that is how it looks up close uh oh so that is how the party looks up close i, I guess i could put a little bit more concealer right there just to kind of like make it look a little bit more like better and then that is how the baby hairs look like i said i didn't really do too much to the baby hairs just like a little swoop um but i just absolutely love how bouncy this hair is and how versatile it is as far as like you can do the tight curls or you can kind of do the loose curls like i did you can also like do a little roll and kind of wear it like this too if you want to um so yeah that's cute too as well or a couple a couple little rolls like not all of it needs to be rolled up i look crazy <laughs> but like a couple little rolls and you don't even need curling irons or anything just take your finger and twirl that and there you go you got these little spiral curls there so yeah it's, it's a lot of different not a lot of different ways but a few different ways you could uh wear this hair if you wanted to i like the brushed out look like i said before and kind of like the flamour i mean the glamour um big hair kind of look i like that look uh better personally for myself trying to get it back okay there we go it's close enough so yeah I like this look personally for myself I'm gonna stand up and show you guys how many uh, how this hair looks on me like I said I'm like five three so I'm gonna show you like how it looks when I stand up so this is how long it is in the front this is how long it is in the back and how it looks in the back oh so yeah that's just I don't know I don't have really anything else to say about this wig I don't have anything really bad to say about this wig because it's giving what it's supposed to be given like and it only it really didn't take me that long to put this wig on you guys it literally took like probably like 10 minutes at the most only because of all the tweaking and stuff that I not all the tweaking but yeah all the tweaking and stuff that I did to the wig it really just took like 10 minutes and some of those steps you guys can skip if you want to I did put baby powder baby powder baby powder I'm gonna show you guys a video that's gonna be right here about why or you know when I first put baby powder on my hair because for synthetic wigs they give off dye, they give off fake and so sometimes you have to just go ahead and add some baby powder in your hair and it will go ahead and just dull down that um I'm trying to get this on my face it'll dull down it'll dull down dull dull is it dull or dull 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 dang it why does that sound so weird i haven't used that word in a million years like do you know when you don't use the word in a long time and then when you use the word it sounds stupid that's that's how i feel with dull wow oh that's an ugly word <laughs> but it'll dull down the shininess and the synthetic look with your hair when you add the baby powder to it and baby powder is only a dollar i know it's some like dry spray or something people use too but sis i got baby powder in my house so i'm gonna continue to use my baby powder so that it can get the job done and that's just that's just what it is okay but anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video um, I'm gonna be coming on here every Wednesday with more bougie on a budget looks for you guys every Wednesday tune in I never know what time I'm gonna be putting my videos up. I know this video is gonna go up pretty late because It's already 8 o'clock and I have to edit the video and everything but it will be up tonight and tonight is Wednesday the, the 7th it will definitely be up tonight. I know I've been gone from my channel for a while, but that's another video I will film for you guys, a life update video. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here, you guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys tune in every single Wednesday. If you're not subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you join the Spice Girl and Spice Guy team. Come on over here, we, we giving out wig tips, we giving out hair tips. We gonna be having some fashion and beauty stuff on this channel. I'm going to be taking this channel like a lot more serious. Make sure you guys subscribe to my other channel too, Miss Cinnamon Spice Lifestyle. And make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment below like if you're feeling this wig. Like would you buy this wig? 
let me know how y'all feeling right now but anyways i'll see you guys in my next video make sure you tune in every wednesday i don't know what time on wednesdays it could be the daytime it could be night but <laughs> tune in every single wednesday i'll be dropping more bougie on a budget styles for you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye